Hello, hello, hello. Uh, my name is Jazz, and I'm gonna play Code Veronica. And, uh, that's Code Veronica. I just pointed at the TV. You can't see that because you're not here. Or are you? I hope not because that's spooky. I need to adjust some, uh, some audio. I, why is there no volume? Wow. Okay. At some point, you might stop hearing me because, uh, I don't know, because I decided to Resident Evil. New game. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this is Code Veronica. I'm Jazz, and this is Code, uh, wow. Okay. The American Midwest Yeah, everybody knows town. the story. Rocky everybody, uh, I can't, can't skip, oh, here we go. If I were equipped with lighter, I could see outside. <laughs> just like flip my remote on the floor. Or the bed, same thing. Ah! I want to check it. I like that Claire comes with a playing manual. <laughs> so that, you know, people can play with her and she can make friends. Oh my god. No! Item! Oh, it's starting. Uh, so just. Kind of a FYI. Today it's drunk podcast, day. not podcast. Today's drunk let's play day, and this is mine for now. I'm gonna speed run code Veronica. Uh, I already forgot what the controls were. Uh, I found some weed. I don't do weed, but Claire does. Oh, some bullets! Yeah, don't need a gun. You can just throw the bullets at people, and that's that. that ooh, this is the best weapon in the entire game, in my opinion. It's called the Combat Kniff, and it's pretty strong. And Claire is is like in a gang now, cause she's got a, a Combat Kniff. Look at her. She's like, I like that. I I like that when she, when you just spin, her feet don't even move. Like she's on a round table turning table thingy, but she's like, Domo arigato, Mr. Claire. Okay, we're going uh, we're going up the stairs. This is gonna be my professional, uh, playthrough for people, so that when when people don't know what they're doing in the game, they can they can come see my video, and this is for you. I I will explain to you what to do. I have to pee. Ah, oh, now it's raining. I have to pee more. First thing you need to do. Well, the first thing was to grab the knife, I guess. But oh, speaking of, this is a no good game. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going there. Cause there's there's an herb here. 
but I'm not gonna take it. And there, go through this door. Oh, my my glass is empty. Shit. Be careful! You have to be careful here because there's a lot of these guys. They think I'm made of soup and they want to eat, eat me, but they can't. Can't eat me. No. I want these bullets so I cannot use them. <laughs> The scumbag thing to do in this game is that um, somebody on the island would probably need the bullets to survive at one point, but I'm like taking them all and I'm not even gonna shoot them, so I'm literally just getting people killed at this point. Oops! <laughs> I should pay attention, I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, there's a herb on this table. You can take it and do whatever you want with it. You smoke it, that's just your call. Each, everybody to their own. Ah. Uh... Hello, I am PS2 Claire. I'm gonna make some herbs because Claire has tiny, tiny jean pockets that can't even. Jeans can't hold a cell phone, so uh, they probably can't hold all that stuff. But you know what? This is kept. So the stairs are looking at you all creepy, and then this body here being all creepy and clears like whatever. You just run around the building. Don't find the things that are. Damn, Claire's got a big butt. Well, it's not time for that. But yeah, holy shit. I thought I wouldn't be paying attention, but I know it's So you gotta be careful here, because there's a lot of people. Usually I get by them easily, but today... <laughs> today I'm gonna get bit a couple times. It's okay. It's okay, because I have two shoulders. I don't need this one. So there's a garage door, but you can't open it yet, because... Uh, there's things... There. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security <sighs> so, box. Deal with the most polite box game, box in the game. Considering this thing is stealing all my shit. I keep my herbs pitch. It's very polite. Is it please? So I had to, to listen to it. Wow, 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 wow. Ah. Can I go through this door here? Oh yeah, just, I forgot to say. So you gotta put all your things in the metal detector box. Ooh. Chris Steve. Redfield. Steve being a button. Um, I should really add more coke to this. What are you doing here? This video is gonna, not gonna last much longer. Fuck you. Okay. All right. So yeah. Uh, after Steve pushes buttons, and he comes over here and he pushes the buttons for this door, but he doesn't actually unlock it. So yeah, you want to make sure you do that because otherwise you're gonna do a lot of back backtracking. And also, you check this desk here because that's where they keep the key for the door that's like three blocks away for some reason. Nobody, nobody carries the key. All the people that are in there, I don't know how they got in there because they didn't have the key. But that's that's just what we do. Um, yeah. Claire's shoulder's still hurting because, uh, she's a little whiny. I'm gonna eat this herb. Oh. Ooh, I moved my head. Um, so yeah, this is something that I didn't really know at first. Oh, yep. Activate the switch, the scanner, blah, blah. blah. Alright, so... <laughs> good, good old PS2 graphics. So do you remember that, that golden key thing we picked up a while back? Since we want to use that here. Put it in the printer. Claire is like college grade educated in fucking printers so she knows what she's doing. So the 3D scanner is going to copy the, the key. And then it's like, bro... I got nothing to copy it on, so you gotta get like this special metal thing and put it in here. Um, what 
I suggest at all times because I don't remember when it's triggered is pick up this piece of crap that's never gonna save your life for shit. Don't touch the the first aid spray. That's the Don't touch the Okay, hang on. I gotta go pee. We're right back. Like I, like I was saying, I don't know if I said it. Don't take this hurt, this healing spray yet, because uh, you won't be able to carry it across, and eventually you're gonna come back through this door. That's for later, though, if we even get there. Please deposit any metallic items you have. Yeah, so now this thing's like, box. hey, give me your shit, and I'm like, okay, here, have this. Now I don't remember why I said to take that. There's no, there's no point. Uh, whatever, it's done. <laughs> mm. So yeah, take your stuff. Um, we'll be here later again, so I'm just gonna take, like, this, and my gun. I won't take the bullets, because I won't. Um, yeah, so like I was gonna say, what I suggest is, I don't know when it's triggered, and somebody told me about this before, but, uh, like those zombies that are that you can hear right now are outside and later on when you come through here the glass breaks and the zombies come through and then you have a hallway full of zombies so the best way to avoid that is to put something metal in the box and then um, set off the alarm so that all the ooh, when I stood up it really hit me <laughs> when all the alarms go off and then you don't have to worry about that because the shutters are closed. Now, it's probably not until after when you put the thing in the thing, but just in case. Alright, so here's one of the very few times that I'll actually shoot bullets. Um, and that's just because, like, it helps a lot. So switch, zombies get out. Up. Grab the fire extinguisher. Look around. And run right back in here. Why, you ask? Because. Get fucked, that's why. No, I'm just kidding. Ah, uh, it's because. Now I can take. The. Oh, I already have the gun. I guess I can take the bullets. Uh, I don't really need them, though. So I'm just gonna. 
reload my gun, and put the bullets back in. Cause that's just extra space that I don't, I don't need right now. I say that, but then I'm probably gonna pick up more bullets. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay, so now all the zombies reset. They're not all like right in your face, so you can probably run right by this guy. And bam! Get away. That's how you do it. That's how, uh, that's how I do it. Now, remember earlier when the. the oh, yeah! Oh, I forgot about that. Ooh. I mean, it's not a big deal. Um, so if you can get by this guy, swipe at his leg. Swipe the leg! There we go. And then, whoop, get this guy to come out here. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> uh, you come in here. We can't actually go in there yet, but there's the key here. For the for the fence. There we go. See that? Knife. No zombies touch me. Home safe. So I can't open the door here, so what you wanna do is you wanna keep running. Just keep running. And yeah, see the dogs will jump at you, but they won't actually Give up with something to jump at. There we go. And what uh, everybody does differently here, but what I like to do is go back out right away because otherwise you're carrying this key for nothing and it's taking up your inventory space. So you just come on here, unlock the padlock. That way you can get through instantly. You don't have to run through the the dogs, and then just go right back out because that dog's starting to wake up. Even though he was just jumping at you at the door, but he had time to go sleep because he's a lazy dog. Um, I think I totally forgot those two guns that I could get. So it's it's optional, like you don't need to get them. Um, I mean, you probably want to give them to Steve later, but in exchange for the Lugers, so you might need them, but I'm gonna go get them now. Uh, it's usually something I do. I forgot. <laughs> Sue me. <gasps> oh, I forgot about this guy, too! Oh, you fuck! Get off of me. Alright, so. Here's what we're doing. We're in the bunkers, or whatever you call those. A lot of dead guys. Don't grab those bullets. Do not grab those bullets. Because otherwise, the window breaks. So, because you can get uh, stuff from this guy first. I mean, if you're like into the bullets, which. See, I called it. I was gonna pick up some bullets later. I think I died in the shower. Okay, so. See this guy? Yeah, he looks harmless and stuff. But as soon as you pick up those bullets, apparently that's like the adrenaline you needed to break through. So I don't know if I'm going to successfully do this today. But usually uh, what I do is I grab the bullets. And then it triggers the guy to come through. Yeah. And what you want to do, because he's going to get up but his gun's fall. You want to sweep the leg as fast as you can. Just sweep the leg. And then run it, grab the guns. Yeah, yeah. And then run by him, ignore the guy on the floor, and get the fuck out! Oh, touchdown! Claire should, Claire should have been in sports. Now remember this guy. Oh shit. Okay, well one of these guys is gonna grab me this. <laughs> I think I would have been fine with the first one, but I turned around. Cause... Yeah. Alright. So now we've got those two guns. Just remember the dogs are here too, but again, if you do this before, you don't have to worry about the DOGS! Where the fuck did he come from? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so, now we have, uh, oh yeah, there's bullets there, but you don't have to bug that zombie for nothing. He's 
kind of shit. Oh, oops, that's not where I want to go. What you want to do is you want to. Oops. <laughs> By the way, there's a zombie there. <laughs> Sorry. Now, uh, what did I get? So we've got the fire extinguisher now. So obviously that means we have to come back through the graveyard and we have to. We have to go uh, turn off the fire in the helicopter because what we're looking for is in the helicopter. Oh, I, should... oh, I thought he got me, but it was the fire. Damn. Yeah, fire burns. Um, fire. <laughs> so you use the fire extinguisher on the fire, and there's a briefcase. And you want to the briefcase, which is super hot, but it's fine because the player's wearing gloves. I turn around because he's gonna attack me. I'm gonna push the fire zombie, and there you go, super. Oh, shit. Yeah, I always have a hard time here. If you're not in the exact right angles and stuff, those guys group up and then you can't get through them. Um, I mean, feel free to take your gun out and shoot them, but that defies the whole only one bullet thing. I feel like there's another time I use it. Oh, the zombie's gone. I can take ammo now. Um, so you're probably thinking, what the fuck? Why am I picking up ammo if I'm not even going to use it? The thing is, uh, I'm going to use it as Chris, so whatever ammo I don't use as Claire, I put in the box, and then when it switches to Chris, Chris has all this ammo. Say la vie. This is why we went to this door. No dogs. I mean, they're still there. You can kill the dogs, but it's easy to kill one dog, but when there's two, it's really hard. Oh, I ran right in. Alright, so we get back here. Usually, I thought there were more zombies, but I guess I might have killed more with the explosion than I remember. Alright, so here we go. So now you gotta drop all of your stuff because. Fuck off. Oh, wait, not that. Um. Because anything metal. Now. This case. Ah, uh, you wanna open it before you go through? Just don't put it in the box. Just take it. Apparently, this is a metal that can't be detected by metal detectors. Um, I, I totally get how useful it is for Claire, who's trying to escape out of prison, but as an employee on the, on the island, in the helicopter for some fucking reason, I don't understand the point of this metal, but whatever. Yeah, so, like I said, if you want to uh, have the alarm on just in case, then that's all I was going to do. Um, this is the part now. This is where it triggers it. So, take your your rounds that I made you put in here for no reason, and just walk through the thing. Just set off the alarm straight up. Because that's when the windows work. Again, don't touch that first aid spray because uh, it's just gonna... You're just gonna... Well, you, you won't waste it, but... There's no reason to touch it yet. Um, so... Let's use... Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. I have to use it over here. That's the light. Kind of looks like a regular player. Really loud and loud. Just a minute down. Nah. So you use the metal on the thingy. It duplicates the key. Which you can now take through the metal detectors and open that door Steve went through somehow. Because he's a little bitch. Um, when I first played this game, I had absolutely no idea how to get through this fucking part. Because I always died here. Because of those zombies who were like banging on the windows. So, I went to a convention and, uh,. We, we were doing a panel on Resident Evil, and I mentioned that, like, I have no like, fucking code Veronica and this and this. I love the game, but like, Jesus Christ, that part, I can't get through it. 
And somebody's stream. Oh, I'm gonna leave the fire extinguisher here. It's empty, anyways. Um, somebody straight up told me, like, oh, you're supposed to close the the shutters, and I was like, what? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, you close the shutters, and then they can't get through you. And it's so simple, but I guess I'm just stupid. Like, I'm like, oh, they're just banging on the windows. They're never gonna come in. Yeah, this is the first mistake I ever made. I was thinking. All right. So now we have a key, and we have, um, We have a key, we have the guns, and we're ready, ready to go to the second part. Oh my god, and suddenly there's more zombies here. All the doors are closed, but there's more zombies here. So we're just gonna open this door. Also remember, just because you put the item in the door and it opened doesn't mean the door will open. Because, uh, first time I, I learned that the hard way. I, uh, I put the key in, and I thought it was gonna do everything for me, and I just stood there, and then the, the zombies took me, and I, I died. So this is gonna be part one of my Code Veronica, and I'm gonna try to do more parts right now, but I have to pee again, so, yeah. Part one, thank you. Thank you for watching, and I hope, I, I hope I helped you. In this five minute of the gameplay that took me like 20 minutes. <laughs> Bye.